And on the foreign scenes, France reported a big fall in its coronavirus toll on Sunday with 242 deaths in 24 hours, a drop of more than a third on the previous day. The epidemic has now claimed 22,856 lives in the country since the beginning of March, according to health officials. It is reported that the number of deaths in hospitals, uh, which is about 152, was the lowest daily toll in five weeks, while 90 people died in nursing and care homes. The numbers of COVID-19 victims in intensive care also dropped, but only slightly to 4,682. But officials said they were worried by an increase in critically ill patients suffering from other conditions. And joining us now from France is Uzo Ezimora. Good afternoon, Ezimora. Yes, hello, good afternoon. Good to have you. Uh, now, it seems like there is light at the end of the tunnel for France. Uh, what has the journey to where you are been like? How prepared? And um, I, I mean, how, what has the journey been like? Well, it's been, uh, I would say, uh, a mixture of, uh, of emotions and, um, yeah, uh, emotions and experiences. Um, frankly, it has been, I think, it's for, like for many people, uh, you know, coming across this uh, disease. It's been uh, frightening. It's been a lot of questions. It's uh, uh, been a case of coming to grips with the fact that you are, uh, of course, not in control and, uh, you know, you have to deal with uh, the uncertainty. Um, I think overall, um, well, we, we've seen the French government step in um, and, and uh, give direction to, to the country overall. Um, but it has been a bumpy, a bumpy experience, a bumpy ride, um, as I think it's, it's been in, in many other countries as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So, in your, how would you now assess the uh, French government's intervention so far? Well, as I say, it's uh, it's been it's been bumpy. Um, it could have been better in some areas, but again, you, you, one has to be. Um, I think fair in that this is, of course, a, a disease that is uh, still being discovered as we speak in terms of the, you know, the the causes, the treatment. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of discovering it as we go. Mm -hmm. um, but I think um, there there are definitely learning points um, that are that are important. Uh, I think particularly around the area of communication. Uh, this. You know, communication has not always been as clear um, as it could be, and particularly in creating the atmosphere of trust between the government and uh, and you know and, and the people here in in, in France. Um, and you know, there's a, a, quite a few questions um, that are still out there in terms of the approach that has been taken. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, while you mentioned the numbers are improving, thankfully. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, gray area. There's still a lot of questions of uh, how things will pan out in the, a few weeks from now as we approach um, at the end of the, 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 the lockdown period here in France. So um, I think in the area of communication, in the area of uh, clarity of their message, um, also the speed of, with which they reacted, uh, these are things that... Um, could have been improved on mm -hmm. or All should right. be improved on going forward. Okay. Comparatively speaking, how has France fared when placed alongside other European countries? I would say if we were to give them a, a let's say, a, a grade from a, from a school, I would say um, it's a pass mark. Yeah, it's a pass mark. It's not a credit. It's not a distinction. Uh, other countries um, have been faster to react, um, have been clearer in their communication, um, and and that's uh, it's a bit unfortunate. I mean, if you take the example of the uh, the testing and that's being done to identify people who are carrying the disease, um, countries like Germany have tested about 25,000 people per million. Uh, inhabitants, while as in France, we are only just testing about 7,000 per million. So it's about three and a half times less. And that in itself is a very important step 
to be able to, of course, identify the problem areas and, and act in time before uh, the disease becomes uh, critical. All right. Thank you so very much, Azamora. And please do keep safe where you are. Thank you, and uh, the same to you.